Hey everyone, Joel Anster, and today we are in Providence. Yes, Providence, Rhode Island, guys. Going for hopefully our second food challenge win here at Dr. Duff's Lost and Found. So this is a really, really cool looking place. Not only do they have art all on the outside, but they have art all on the inside. So today, what challenge we are doing, guys? We are doing spicy, yes. Very, 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 very spicy chicken. Yes, spicy chicken, guys. You guys wanted these freaking spicy challenges. And for some reason, here I am still doing them. I don't know why, they always kick my butt. But we have the absolute, also biggest chicken sandwiches I've ever seen. So not only do we have very spicy chicken sandwiches, we have giant spicy chicken sandwiches. So for the Dr. Duff's Walk of Death Challenge, and if you're wondering what Dr. Duff's is, Dr. Duff's is, I guess, a comic book that the owner made when he was in high school. So for this challenge, uh, we have to eat two of their absolutely giant, massive, extra large chicken sandwiches, which are absolutely doused and coated in their extra hot, house-made Dr. Duff's hot sauce. We only have 15 minutes to eat these two massive sandwiches, and yes, if you're asking, they have two pounds of chicken on each. So we're talking like four pounds of chicken breast, plus buns, plus jalapenos, plus pickles, plus lettuce, uh, plus jalapeno poppers on top of dressing the sandwiches, and only 15 minutes to eat it, and we have no water, yes, no water. Uh, if we do complete this, we will get the meal for free. I believe the meal is about $35, something like that, but uh, that's about that, guys, so let's head on in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food. Wish me luck, this is gonna be spicy, we're gonna need it, so deathly spicy chicken, let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here we are with the Dr. Duff's Walk of Death, guys, and I'm, I'm a little scared after watching them make these. Not only are these huge, do you guys see this? We have chicken breasts, like this is about two pound of chicken breasts on this, it is giant. Look at this, it is like the best, definitely, definitely the biggest chicken sandwich I've ever, ever, ever seen in my life. These are insane. And you can order these sandwiches, like they're on the menu all the time, it's what they call their large sandwich. We have their house made extra hot sauce on both of these. As you can tell, these things are just soaked, drenched in them. Again, we have all the jalapenos, the pickles, the lettuce. Um, it is topped with a jalapeno popper, which they also make here. So, I'm scared. Like we said, guys, no liquids, only 15 minutes. Um, it smells good, but it smells spicy. So wish me luck, that's about it, and uh, let's get started here just momentarily. All right, so this is definitely also going to be a little messy. I do got the gloves, more because I cut part of my finger off the other day. I'm a little afraid. But you guys love spicy stuff, so I'm doing it for you guys, so just deathly spicy chicken sandwiches. So here we go. All right, we have our official time for the day, is that correct? Thanks again to everybody who came out to watch, guys. Really appreciate that. Definitely keep track of the travels, either on the YouTube community tab, on the Facebook page, on JoelEats.com, nonetheless. And while you're at it, cop yourself some merch. All right, guys. If you can't tell, I'm kind of stalling. I'm a little afraid. But all right, let's just dive into this. Um, so how about, yeah, and like, talk about how do you eat this. Look at this, guys. Look at the size. Look at the size of this chicken sandwich. Look at this. That's a good thumbnail right there. All right, so how about we get started? I'm gonna try to take a bite of this as an actual sandwich. This is insane. So how about we start with, say, the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Woo! Mm. Mm. All right, that's hot. Oh yeah, that is spicy. Oh, jeez Louise. Man. Very saucy. Very tender chicken though, great breast. I do love breast. Chicken breast. Mm. Woo! Some kit. And the jalapenos. Oh man. Oh boy. My mouth is just burning. Oh, I feel the burn. Oh man, 
Oh boy. Ooh. Ah. All right, things are heating up. Holy crap. Good tasting sandwich, but holy jumpers, man. How are we doing for time there, my friend? Two minutes, ten seconds. Mm. Ah. <sighs> 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 She is starting to burn though. Woo! Holy cow. Definitely a little messy, but man, that is a monumental freaking sandwich. The bee just tasted the sauce and flew away. Oh, too spicy. <laughs> That's right, the bee tasted the sauce. Oh man. I'm trying to save the the jalapenos for last because they have cream cheese in them. I'm thinking maybe it'll help a little bit. Maybe I'll try it now. Still spicy. Hey. It tastes pretty good though, but. Ah, holy cow. Woo. All right, this, this is actually the bigger sandwich of the two. Very tender chicken though, just ripped off, but. Thank you. Oh. Oh. oh man. I bet it looks great right now. Oh, oh man. Whew. Just all around the face. Jeez Louise. And again, the freaking size of these sandwiches. Man, honestly, this is the coolest chicken sandwich I've ever seen in my life. This, this one's a little spicy, but we have other kinds. Damn, this is huge though, man. All chicken sandwiches should look like this. Somebody is damn. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Dr. Duff's in Rhode Island. So I just figured I'd hop on here real quick, give you a little bit of voiceover. Of course, there's a lot of natural commentary in this video, so just some additional details. So first off, let us marvel at the true beauty of these delicious, huge, godly sandwiches. Yes, I tell you what, after seeing this, I am hashtag big sandwich all the time. Seriously, give me a hashtag big down below or a hashtag little. Maybe you like little sandwiches, but after seeing a sandwich like this, I can never go back. Hashtag big, hashtag little. I'm now realizing actually how big these things are. This must be the equivalent of like four chicken sandwiches. At least. Woo. So these were the extra spicy sandwich that they have there on the menu. Of course, they had a large variety of other chicken sandwiches. And then, of course, they did have the smaller ones. But these are their big ones, the large size, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, this, I will also say, in addition to the food being really good, um, although spicy, this bar, Dr. Duff's, is actually, I think, the coolest bar I've ever, ever been to in my life. You have to check this place out if you're in Providence, Rhode Island. If you're anywhere in Rhode Island or ever in the area, it is worth the trip just to see this. Like, the inside and the outside is phenomenal. The place is covered in art, murals, stickers, they have, like, bathtubs as... Um, like seating and just like it is just the the innovation and the thought that went into this place is awesome that is spicy oh, I feel that in the gut Ooh. thank God for Pepto-Bismol oh. 
Dr. Duff's also has the biggest selection of canned craft beers in the world, I believe, um, or in North America at least, which is absolutely insane. And then, like I said, when you're making huge sandwiches like this, I don't know, like, this is just the coolest place ever. So definitely stop on by. Um, in the sauces themselves, we had like a whole bunch of habaneros. There's a whole bunch of other spicy peppers, secret peppers they had in there. And I tell you what, this sauce had some kick, but the food was really good. So let's get back to the video. About seven-ish minutes in, seven and a half, I don't know, man, this is, woo! I tell you, everything just seems so hot. And the hotness of the sandwich, like the temperature just makes that so much. <sighs> Boy. Woo! Spicy. Spicy. Nose is running, but I can't touch that. Whew. So it'd be a lot easier with water, I'll put it that way, but oh man. I see the light. Really, it's just the sun, but nonetheless. with my mouth or my gut burning. Maybe dairy, Jesus, ice cream, one of the above, man. But, woo! I tell you guys, that is spicy. A very, very good chicken, like tasty chicken sandwich. The biggest chicken sandwich I've ever seen in my life, but hot damn! Boy, oh boy. I tell you, they do know how to kick that up. Woo! So, about 10 and a half minutes or whatever it was there, guys, but. <clears throat> excuse me. Woo! This is burning, this is burning. I hope that's not burning. Anyway, guys, like I said, very, very delicious, very spicy. I will say, I would like definitely come on by and try chicken sandwiches. We have a whole bunch that aren't spicy as well. I think that's what I try next time. But very, very delicious, guys. So if that would you get meal for free, it's pretty cool. This is a hell of a challenge, guys. Um, I'd, I'd recommend giving it a shot. Well. 
Actually, no, I I don't know if I will, but I'd recommend trying Dr. Dust here, guys. Grab yourself one of these chicken sandwiches. Very delicious. Again, the giant ones are just absolutely outstanding. So uh, that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna take this glove off. Maybe this one too, grab some water. This is gonna be, uh, this will hopefully be a little better. Uh, uh, a little bit, but man, that is spicy. Uh, hot. The, uh, the jalapeno popper is really good as well. That cream cheese in there is some cheese. Crazy though, guys. Like I said, those chicken sandwiches are crazy, crazy huge. Ooh. So like I said, guys, huge thanks to Dr. Duff's. The staff here are, are excellent. The restaurant is super, super cool. Not only have these like amazing murals, the whole place is decked out. They have bathtubs you can sit in. They have all kinds of cool lights. They have stickers all over the wall. They have it all. What more can you ask for? Ugh, excuse me, that kind of rhymed. But um, yeah, guys, that's about it. I'm just going to sit here in pain and... That's about it. They might get some Pepto. So, until next time, everybody. Of course, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Definitely, guys, you're in Rhode Island, you're in Providence. Definitely come check out Dr. Dust here. Super cool spot. They have a hell of a night life, apparently. I'm definitely not going to be taking part of it today. I think that my stomach is rocked after this, but definitely recommend, guys. And uh, that's about it. So, until next time, of course, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. I might have already said that. I don't know what's going on anymore. And just for that, guys. Have a lovely day. Wait till that goes back. They knew the chicken was really hot. They're just a little, you know, ahead of time. All right, everyone, and while we're in Rhode Island, we gotta try one of the Rhode Island specialties, being what they call a hot wiener. Here we are, here I'll zoom on in a little bit. A hot wiener, yes, a hot wiener. As you can see, it says, Onlyville, New York System, Rhode Island's best hot wieners. So a hot wiener is very similar to a coney dog. Um, if you're not familiar with what a coney dog is, like kind of in Detroit, they're a big thing. It's basically like a hot dog with a meat sauce, mustard, and I believe onions on top. This, of course, is their own special, you know, mix. Um, this Onlyville, I guess, is like the original whatever, hot wiener here in Rhode Island. Now they're called hot wieners. They're not like spicy, but I guess they are a bright red wiener, which is served obviously hot with a hot bun. Apparently, traditionally, they would like line the hot dogs up along their arm and then the guy would dress them with mustard. Maybe they got rid of that with COVID, I've heard. But uh, let's go in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food, let's see what this is all about. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm literally just gonna get a bite. I just did a challenge, I'm not hungry by any means. But when in Rome and when in Rhode Island, you gotta try a hot wiener, so let's go. Try a hot wiener. So here we have the menu. Hot wieners, wiener special, all the things. And there we have them guys. That is what a hot wiener looks like. So it looks like a little cut almost like sausage. It's kind of put like a sausage link, bright red in color. And uh, there you go, he's dressing them right there. So as you see, he's putting the meat sauce on them. He's lining them up on his arm like that, but apparently they went all the way up the arm, not just on the glove prior, so pretty cool. Onions and all that stuff. So here's what it looks like. I just took it outside. Um, but yeah, we got the obviously red casing of the hot dog, obviously beef and onions and mustard on it. They call this all the way. So let's try it, y'all. Let us try the famous Hot wiener. Hmm. Oh, wow. All right. That's actually delicious. So the onions are super sweet. They kind of remind me like a onion to have a McDonald's hot, uh, hamburger, like a little one. The beef is really nice. Great flavors on it. Definitely a little salty. Really nice sweetness. The inside of that, the hot wiener, again, there's the red casing and then the inside, which is a lot you know, more pinky, you can kind of see it. That is so tender, so juicy. It's very much 
Like, you can definitely tell there's some real nice fat to it, but it's like, uh... Hmm. Definitely pork. Yeah, just like, very, very, very juicy, very flavorful. Really nice, actually. I'm actually really impressed. So, there you go, guys. We're going to try a Rhode Island hot wiener. Definitely something I would recommend trying. Apparently, people drink this with coffee milk. You know, they have chocolate milk a lot of places. But apparently, coffee milk is a thing. So, I'm not trying coffee milk today. I don't have any. But, I would recommend trying a hot wiener here in Rhode Island. So, thanks, Rhode Island. Appreciate it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice and juicy. And here is some downtown Providence. Uh, we are heading to a place called Thayer's Street, I believe, or Thayer's Road, I believe it is called. Um, I just was told to go check that area out. So there's some really cool looking buildings. Uh, kind of, I don't know, like, I mean, some of them obviously look quite old. Um, definitely a, a bit of a historical architecture to some of them. Here again, we just have some kind of big buildings. So those purple lights we definitely saw um, the other night from the pedestrian way. Here we have a park. That is a big, 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 cool looking fountain over there. Actually, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. See that great big fountain? See that water fountain shining right there? Not sure what park that is, but definitely a cool little thing. Uh, like I said, let's go see this Thayer Street or uh, Thayer's Road, whatever it is, and then we will hop back out. Here we have some other very large buildings that looks like a, a bank or something of some sort. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, very like, it's. It, it, I will say Providence and Rhode Island, Rhode Island has been very beautiful. Um, but yeah, let's kind of go see some of these more sites. So Thayer Street is uh, really close to the university here. So these are some of the uh, university buildings and we're definitely a university neighborhood. We have all kinds of students around. Um, like I said, definitely, definitely a student-led neighborhood. Uh, didn't see t like some, I mean, we saw some university buildings here. Obviously it is, it is dark slash, it was getting dark real quick. Uh, it is only, 6.43 guys, it is October, but it is dark. It's getting dark real, real, real early. But yeah, this is they're very much obviously- Turn just, right you know, onto Thayer Street, then you'll uh, arrive at your destination. Very much a campus slash student area. So this Thayer Street, I heard is a whole bunch of kind of little shops. It is very much, again, part of the student area. But uh, we'll just kind of see what this is all about. Like I said, I don't really know what to expect. Um, all I know is that this is, th this, well, I think I think it's the other, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it's the other direction we wanna head You've us back. Arrived. Well, thanks Google, but yeah, let's head up the other direction to the other part of Thayer Street, as like there's a whole bunch of shops up there. All right, so here we have Thayer Street, which is a one way. We have Insomnia cookies, we have, some little stores, grocery stores. I did look this up really quickly on Google after somebody recommended it. And basically it was just kind of like, it's a student area with different shops. There's a sneaker junkies there. Uh, um, obviously they have a whole bunch of different restaurants here. We have Euros, we have, looks like crab. We have some Chinese food. We have a tropical smoothie cafe. We have burritos. We have Philly cheesesteaks. We have some things I'm not even sure what they are. It looks like a glass, like like sunglass shop. We got uh, coffee shops, hibachi, Mexican grill. It looks like a theater maybe called the Avon. Uh, more Mexican food. Oh, there's somebody backing up. Parking. We have a curry place, kebab place. We have pizza. We have Indian food. We got a Shake Shack. Um, obviously, like lots and lots of students around. That is also for sure. 
like an incredible amount of students. In fact, I think really, with the exception of one or two people, definitely a lot of young, young, young adults here. So I don't know what you're gonna be able turn to see. Turn left onto College Street, then turn right onto North Main Street. I don't know where you're gonna be able to see all this, but this is like, again, down by the uh, university. Here we have the uh, Supreme Court. Very large, big building. We have some really cool, kind of old style, I'll call them kind of like New Haven looking, you know, buildings here. Um, I'm actually super Take impressed. Take the next right onto North Main Street. Thank you, Google. Um, super, super actually impressed by this like little area. Here we have uh, another park, a great big huge monument of such there. Maybe we'll get out and have a quick In a quarter peek. mile, keep left. All right, at that park where I started to get out, here we have a little um, tribute to the Rhode Island Korean War veterans. Always appreciate war memorials. And this something over here, which is a big memorial, but guys, smell the ocean. I smell that salt water. It smells good, it smells fresh. Let's, uh, let's go see what we have over here. We have this little, not little, little is a, is a figure of speech. Here you have a great big memorial in itself. This is definitely very, very, very large. It says, let us strive on something to do all which may achieve and cherish and just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. So I have a feeling this is again, probably a bit of a, a war memorial piece of some uh, nature. Again, by what I believe they, was called the uh, the courthouse, the Supreme Court there. And then uh, over here, we have kind of some more um, really nice looking little areas actually. And like, just all of it just looks very pleasant. Like the way the uh, kind of even, oops, what did I do? The way even the metal works are on the The way the, uh, what am I trying to say? The way that the metal works is on the fence here, by the canal, on this little bridge. I mean, no wonder I can smell the ocean. It's freaking right here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is cool. Very, very beautiful. All this uh, stonework and brickwork and stuff. And like I said, all this very, very, very visibly down here by the university, which is that way. So cool. All right, look, we have some more super cool buildings, which is awesome. Here we have some more beautiful architecture, great big buildings. This is what I wanted to grab real quick. Look at this. We have two people kayaking down the freaking waterway, the little canal. I think that is so, 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 so cool. So I will just say, Minute by minute, minute by minute, I am getting more and more impressed with Rhode Island. Um, it's very beautiful here in Providence, it's super cool. I think definitely an area where like a summer, a nice, really nice summer trip would be pleasant. I don't think it would get too hot. Apparently they have really nice beaches around here. And here we have some more kind of almost decorative, other kind of, you know, I mean obviously we have some more buildings and stuff. Again, very like maritime looking. But here we have some really cool kind of outlet. Obviously, stairwell. I don't know, like, I mean, just more giant buildings, a lot of old architecture, infrastructure here. This is the decorative kind of uh, pillars or little thing I was talking about here. Wow, this is uh, this is all super cool. I'm, I'm like, in the last, I'm just, I'm just blown away. Providence, Rhode Island, guys. Really beautiful. I think, uh, you know, all of a sudden, got a thumbs up from Joel. We're definitely gonna have to take a uh, kind of little summer trip vacation here. And definitely gonna have to kind of spend some time looking and seeing this beautiful, beautiful downtown. Like I said, just a lot of like, you can tell it's old, but just kind of reminds me of maritime history, old buildings, you know, New Haven, all that stuff.